Hello. I am here. Sorry I'm late again, as always. I decided, I saw you guys talking. Hold on, let me move my microphone a little bit closer and turn it up a little bit. Hold on, let me just, let me just sort this stuff out. Hey everybody, how are we all doing? What are we all up to? I think that should be good. Oh, there we go. Right, we're, we're louder now. So, um, I was thinking we should go ahead because I saw you guys talking in the chat and you guys said that you thought a Q&A would be good. So I was thinking how about we go ahead and do a Q&A for like the first like half an hour to 40 minutes depending on obviously how many questions we've got and how long it goes on for and then we'll go ahead and hop into game um, because I've got a little bit of building to do on stream today so we'll go ahead and like hop into like a little build stream um, and that's how we'll finish it off and then we can come back next week and we can have gameplay in the next week if that makes sense. So I was thinking that that's what we'll go ahead and do. Go ahead and give me the heads up if you guys are, are good with that because we've got a little bit of building to do on the legacy challenge house to get everything sorted in now so um yeah that way it kind of breaks up the build because obviously normally building takes forever for me as you guys know <laughs> yeah <laughs> literally takes me like 40 minutes to do anything <laughs> Where is the not so belly, ch uh, be belly? <laughs> not so berry challenge, Lauren? Um, it is coming soon. I be well, it, it was anticipated to come tonight, but depending on what time the stream ends and depending on like how much I can get done of it, um, will depend on when it comes out. It could always come out tomorrow or on Tuesday, I believe it is. So yeah, we're uh, we're set up for them, but obviously tomorrow um, is going to be the day that I recorded my videos. Uh, 100 Baby just came out this week as well, so we'll have another 100 Baby going out next week. So yeah, that'll be on the agenda. What happened last uh, stream? Missed it. Um, not too, not too much happened. Like I don't, I don't really think too much happened. I think we just like we just chilled, we played around. Um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like that much. Hey Lauren, can you talk about the new Eco Sims pack? I'm sure I can. Um, it depends on what you want to know about it, I suppose. Do you want to know like, my opinion on it and stuff like that? What are we doing? So in today's video or today's stream, should I say, we're going to, oh my God, my hair's getting stuck. This is not cute. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a, um, we're going to go ahead and do a, a Q and A for our 30 K subscribers. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hop into game afterwards. So we're going to like spend like a little while doing the Q and A. So I'll answer a few questions and then we'll hop into game afterwards. How are you doing Lauren? I am very good. Thank you very much car update i really want to know okay erin so basically i showed you guys i went ahead and ordered a mercedes a class um i'm waiting for it to turn up currently i do not know what the hell is happening with it so the company that i've ordered it from obviously it's a lease um and they are like currently leasing it to me but obviously it's a custom build so they're, they're building it for me um from the last i heard which was back in uh, when did I find this out? It must have been about February, February, March time. They said the delivery date was the 26th of June, which is next month. And so far I've heard nothing from the company. Um, yeah, just because they're obviously over here, we're still at, well, we're still pretty much in lockdown. We've only just um, come out on Wednesday to be able to like drive around and like go out more places. So, so far, um, no, I do not know what the hell is going on with the car. But hopefully um, when they get back in the office, they'll go ahead and let me know if there's a delay or not. Um, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm seriously seeing it. I'm crossing my fingers and toes and I'm hoping that it um that it comes on time but honestly like considering they gave me a date before this whole coronavirus thing broke out um yeah i, d I don't know how it's gonna go down so i'm kind of kind of nervous about it but honestly i really want my car to turn up i'm like i'm getting i'm getting like the excitement for it now <laughs> that's a day before declan's birthday Ooh. <laughs> Is she married yet? I'm on episode six and she is not married yet, but only because there's some stuff going down. Um, so we can't actually get them married yet, but we will get them married hopefully soon if everything gets sorted out. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you if, um, yeah, if you're, if nothing's gone on. Is there going to be a giveaway this stream? There's not going to be a giveaway just because I already done a giveaway for 25k. Um, I normally do them at like five, like, does that make sense? Like I, I normally do them at like 10k intervals. Um, but yes, we will be doing a giveaway probably at 35k. Um, um, and then obviously we've got merch coming at 50k as well. So we'll probably stagger them out like those. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and wait for one of those. I don't think they're ever going to get married. They will eventually. They will. They will definitely get married eventually. But it's just taking its time, you know. 
I can't wait to see your car pics though. It's such a beautiful car. Honestly, I love my car. Like, well, I, I'm calling my car. It's not even my car yet. But she's gorgeous. I can't wait for her to turn up. Um, hold on, let me just, I'm realizing that my microphone is like a little too high now. Um, so I wanted to go and film like a little car update. So I was thinking on my Life of Lauren channel, I was considering going and doing like a car like show around so I could show you guys around my car. I'd take the camera out and I'd show you some of like my favorite features of it and I'll just show you my car on my drive. Um, and I might even take you out on like a drive with it. Um, I'll just put you on my dashboard and I can talk to you guys about what's been going on, you know, what I like about the car. I can even talk about prices if you guys want to know, like, you know, how much it costs me monthly, um, like, you know, insurance for my first year, um, being, well, not it's obviously not my first year of driving, but insurance for like how much it costs. And like, I can just go over costs and stuff with you guys if you want to see a video like that as well. Oh, I, sorry, I, I missed that completely. Demi, um, Demi Slatford, I believe I got that right, has just, um, um, has just joined the lollipop tier. Thank you very much, Demi. I believe he was already in the cupcake tier or the chocolate tier. I believe Demi was already part of this. But can we go ahead and um, can we go ahead and um, give the? I, I love it how I'm sitting here doing the claps. And I haven't even said them yet. Can we go ahead and um, give the claps to Demi, please? And go ahead and welcome her into the uh, welcome her into the membership program. <laughs> membership program. I feel like it's like a thing that I'm set up now. <laughs> How much is it to be a member? It depends on which membership you go with, but there's three different tiers. There's a $1.99, there's a $4.99 and an $8.99, depending on which tier you want. Each tier, um, you get like different things included. So, yeah. Congratulations, love, you moving up. <laughs> Um, do you still have Miss Lollipop Gaming channel? I do indeed. I'm actually, I'm really excited for this. I'm going to be uploading to that channel, I believe, next week. Um, me and Ben have been playing a game called um, Seven Days to Die, which I'm going to go ahead and upload on that channel. I'm going to do, I haven't decided if I'm going to do like a series on it or if I'm going to do like a funny video type of thing, like a collation of all the funny things that happens. It's probably going to be like a really edited um, like a really edited series, but basically it's a survival based game kind of like Minecraft except without squares um, Well, there is squares in it to be honest <laughs> um, But it's basically a zombie survival game where you go ahead and like you loot like abandoned places um, And then you set up and then every seven nights There's this massive horde of zombies that try and come and like kill you um, And you have to set up like a base and build a base to try and survive against it um, It does remind me a lot of Minecraft because there's like mining in it. Obviously there's looting um, So it does kind of remind me all of all of that stuff but yeah it's a really really fun game and I know you guys like seeing Ben as well so I think it'll be like a two for one deal. <laughs> Can I still make Nevea, uh, friends for Nevaeh? I made 20 yesterday. Yeah of course yeah go ahead and make some. Um, I'm always putting them in like gradually so whenever we like go into game um, I just randomly put them in so you might end up just seeing them around you know. Can you link your other YouTube accounts in the chat? Um, Mods have we got that um, have we got that thing where you go ahead and like link people to my other channels i believe it's like i don't know i don't know what the command is on nightbot if you guys know what it is <laughs> um lauren do you play planet zoo i do play planet zoo a little bit um i play it over on my twitch stream but it would be nice to go and do like a full series of it on youtube to be honest i kind of prefer doing something like that on youtube over like streaming it because I, I kind of get bored of like, I don't know, I, I get bored of it, like playing it for like two hours straight. So I feel like it would be nicer for me to do it as like videos instead. So they might be over on the other channel as well. So hopefully. Um, but I, I, I love it how I'm completely missing the chat. I get so invested in like answering it, answering a comment that I forget everything. Paige has just joined the chocolates here. Thank you very much, Paige. Could we have claps in the chat welcoming Paige to the memberships? And could we have all the members go ahead and welcome her in there too? Uh, Paige, if you are not currently part of the Discord, go ahead and get yourself a discord um, and get yourself linked up with the YouTube channel which I tell you about that how to do that in my discord server I believe um, but yeah go ahead and get that sorted out and then that way you'll get your correct tier in there as well is that the one with the plane crashes at the beginning no that's the forest but that's a really good game too <laughs> um, but no there's, there's no plane crash in the beginning of this one can you do a furniture CC video? I probably could, yeah. I mean, I was considering actually clearing out my CC in a little while. Um, not doing like a full clear out, but I was considering getting rid of like a lot of like, I have a lot of female hairs I don't use in the game anymore. Like a lot of old hairs that, um, that I just haven't, leaned too recently and I'm definitely leaning towards like specific creators like Anto Sims and like specific hairs so I'm considering just getting rid of a lot of the hairs I'm not using and then just rebuilding on my new stuff and then also getting rid of some of my clothes as well because I've got a bunch of different clothes that I haven't 
um, that I haven't got yet. So, uh, th th I'm sorry, I've got a bunch of different clothes that are like really old that I'd never use. So those could go, those could go too. So I should probably do like a clean out video, which I could actually record. I don't know, it kind of be a boring video, but I could always record and show you guys how I go through my, uh, how I go through my CC to find out what I don't use anymore. Because basically I go through and I look at like the little images and I find them and then delete them if I don't think I use them anymore. I don't know, does that make sense? <laughs> Um, where do you, what do you, um, what do you like to get your CC? Um, uh, could you, could you explain the first bit? And where is the best place to get it? I always download all of my CC from basically Sim Domination. Um, it's kind of like my main place to go for all of it. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my favourite place to go. Lauren, can you do a Roblox stream? It would be really fun to watch. Honestly, I don't actually play Roblox. I've seen a little bit on it, and it's not really the sort of thing that like interests me at the minute. Um, but if it does, if it does like come around where I really want to play it, then I will. Um, but just because I'm struggling to like fit all my YouTube uploads in with also streaming, with also recording for the other channel, and trying to fit all of that stuff in, I just don't want to like give myself too much to do. If that makes sense, so. Would probably play uh, Minecraft other than yeah. Roblox, I think. Yeah, we were, uh, we're a lot better at Minecraft, actually. <laughs> um, how much CC files do you have? Well, in terms of files, I'll go ahead and like tell you now. So if I go into my mods, in individual files, I have um, 9,090 files. And in gigabytes, I have 42.7 gigabytes. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> um... <laughs> I miss playing Sims. My computer broke and I'm depressed. I'm so dramatic. Oh no. I I hope that you get it fixed soon because honestly it's 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 the worst thing when you actually can't play a game that you really want to. Do you use Ken's RCC or Graffiti CC? If not, they are Patreon only, but they are amazing. I do use some of their stuff. I believe some of their stuff isn't isn't Patreon though, right? I believe I've because I've got some of their CC but not through Patreon. I've got them like through their downloads. I think I've got them on Tumblr. 9,095 files, that's a lot. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> hey Lauren, I would love for you to see this, but you have a lot of people here, but I still love you. That's okay, thank you very much, Dottie. Love you too. <laughs> Holy amount of CC, I thought my Gigabyte mods was big. Yeah, I've got, um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of winning in that area. Not that it's a competition or anything, but you know. <laughs> It's not it's not a competition that my computer is like lagging the hell out of me. It's an, it's not doing that badly in fairness Like my computer doesn't run that badly with the sims It's just I do notice a huge difference especially recently in the past like few weeks I've downloaded a bunch of CC that I probably shouldn't have and then now I'm like I've got a bunch of stuff that I don't use so I think I should just do a full clean out, you know Thank you Lauren, hopefully it should be getting fixed either this month or next month. That's good. That's really good. Well, hopefully you can play on it very, very soon. <laughs> what gaming setup do you have? Um, I link all of these stuff in the description of all my videos. I don't know if it's actually in the description of live streams. Um, but in terms of specs, I've got a custom build. I get, I get asked this quite a lot actually in all my videos. Um, because I suppose it's like... I suppose like not everybody knows about like computers and stuff like that but my biggest suggestion is if you want to play The Sims 4 and you want it to play the best you could um, if you've got the option to and you've got the money to I would always recommend that you go and get yourself an actual like computer like a box you, you get what I mean like uh, a desktop and then you buy a monitor separately because a desktop one can always be upgraded. So your your biggest thing like in your in your computer for gaming is like probably your your uh, graphics card, which means that you can just upgrade that every single time you need to. Um, and also they've got a lot better airflow. And you normally find on a laptop when you play for a few hours it starts getting hot, and that'll be when your computer starts to slow down because it gets too hot or you might get overheating. So the best thing to get is like a gaming uh, a gaming computer. Um, and yeah normally i mean like my computer is a bit overkill for like for sims like I, you don't need something as good as what i've got mine is mainly suited towards playing other games not sims um and also recording and streaming which is a lot more on the computer so although you guys might think that my computer runs really well with all that you know with all the with all the cc that i've got it should because the computer's worth like two and a half grand or 
like not so much now because it's like it's older now but when you valued everything when i bought it it was like two and a half grand in pounds which i believe was like three thousand to like three thousand three hundred dollars or something if that's easier to do the conversion <laughs> so yeah you don't need you don't need a computer like that to play sims um but getting a gaming desktop is definitely your best thing to do and get a monitor separately because then that way you can upgrade if you need to and if you don't know how to upgrade you can always take it to like a computer store tell them that you want a new graphics card and even if you order one you can get them to fit it i know that there's a lot of places in england where you can take it to them and they'll fit the graphics card for you or upgrade it for you when are you going to post more on your other channel? I'm going to be posting next week. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm going to go ahead and record the video tomorrow with Ben because Sunday is like my recording day. So I'm going to go and do all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'll be having videos on there soon. <laughs> would you think playing Sims on a laptop or playing on a desktop would be better? Playing on a desktop. Yeah, definitely playing on a desktop. I've been trying to get a gaming computer from Best Buy, but they keep cancelling my orders because there's an issue on their end. It's so aggravating. Oh, that's so annoying. Like, when you're so ready to buy something, you've got all the money saved up, and then somebody keeps, like, ruining it for you. Yeah, I, I, I really hate that, too. Hopefully. Hopefully they get it sorted out. <laughs> Is Twitch free? You mean, like, like Twitch streaming? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely free. Or, like, even if you want to watch me on Twitch, it's also free as well. <laughs> Daisy series incoming? Probably not. I don't think I'm good at that. Like, I'm good enough at that yet. Like, I can't shoot anybody. <laughs> I can't shoot anybody on that. Maybe maybe if I get better, I'd record it. But I don't know recording stuff that I'm not good at, you know? <laughs> Sorry, but I won't be able to stay long today. That's okay. That's no worries. Oh, something's coming up and I can't see the chat. Oh my god, I loved Daisy. I recently started playing Daisy with a, a group of friends recently. Um, so it's kind of nice to be able to go back to that. But I used to play Daisy a lot when I was uh, when I was growing up. Even if I was scared of it and I'd always log off because I was super scared. But you get the idea. <laughs> hey Marissa, this is my first time watching your live stream. But welcome to the live stream. I hope I hope you're uh, you're enjoying it. You should do the Disney Princess Challenge. It is so fun. Honestly, I don't want to set myself up with any more series just yet. Um, if I get myself into any more series, it will be um, kind of like more like realistic series, I think. And series where I can be a bit more free. I'm kind of getting annoyed with the whole challenge is, if that makes sense. Because I feel a little bit bogged down. I feel like I'm having to follow an exact line. And I feel like I can be like, I'm not being as expressive as what I could be. So I'm not going to start like any new series particularly yet. Um, but if I do start any series, then it'll probably be like a little bit more free where I can kind of come up with my own stories, if that makes sense. Are you wearing makeup? Yes, I am indeed. I am wearing makeup. I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing concealer, foundation, um, an eyebrow gel thing, um, mascara, um, powder, obviously, because otherwise I'd be like melting off on the screen. <laughs> um, and also some contour as well, which you guys can't really see because um, this like light's really bright. I don't know if you can see it any better. Yeah, see, look, that, that's me with like the light off. I have this massive light, so it's difficult for you guys to see any of my makeup, basically. <laughs> Just because it washes me right out. <laughs> Do you have a, scre uh, a streaming schedule? P.S. Love you so much. I do indeed. I stream every Saturday, um, normally at 8pm or 7 to 8pm. Um, sometimes I might have to move those to a Sunday, depending on if like a Saturday is busy or whatever, especially when Ben starts um, going back to work because Saturday is going to be his only day off. So or Sundays will be his day off, but you guys get the, you guys get the picture. So I might have to go ahead and move um, that stuff. But yeah, that's, that's the way it kind of works. And then as of now, every Wednesday will be a Twitch stream. Um, I'd like to to say every uh, every Wednesday but there'll be some Wednesdays obviously when I need to go ahead and like get videos ready but as as with you know all things basically it'll be every every Wednesday uh, over on Twitch and every Saturday over on here shout out to George Mill <laughs> yeah you look shiny like you're wearing highlighter I'm not wearing it oh, I'm not wearing highlighter anywhere else but like on top on the top of my cheeks here I don't know if you can, can you see it I don't know if you guys can see it hold on can you see? Oh, you can. You can see a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> Got that Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight. 
not a question but i love you and you're an amazing youtuber oh thank you i actually got a message from somebody or a comment the other day i think it was yesterday and it wasn't like i was upset for, about it but it was kind of like mm, like it kind of upset me a little bit it was just more of like she was giving like the, the woman who was commenting was giving me advice and was saying like she finds it hard to get herself invested in my videos because i you know because i don't upload like very often and obviously yeah that's obviously true like being recently considering i was doing all my uni stuff and it kind of like it kind of upset me and made me feel like a bad youtuber so especially now like i've like, I finally got my drive back once i finish uni so like now i've got all of my time and motivation to put into my two channels and i just felt bad because i don't because I, I get what it's like you know like you guys are like invested in one of my series and then you find that it's not being uploaded very often it made me feel like a bad youtuber if that makes sense and i kind of wanted to like apologize like to all of you guys for like for not uploading i know you guys say like don't worry about it you know you was at uni but it's just more of a fact of like i don't know i wish i could have I wish I could have uploaded. Does that make sense? <laughs> does, that, does that make sense? I feel like I'm getting all like, <gasps> like I'm gonna start bawling. <laughs> You're a great YouTuber. Oh, thanks, Julian. <laughs> it's not your fault. You can't upload all the time, though. You're trying your best. I am trying my best. Absolutely, especially especially now. I'm um, I'm trying my best. Once I finish now, I finish uni, and yeah, I want to go give you guys as much time as possible. Um, whilst also not bogging myself down with like not doing anything that I need to do um, but then also I I want to be able to start up the other channel because as much as I love The Sims and I've grown up loving The Sims The Sims doesn't do it for me as much as it used to like I'm always honest with you guys and I always tell you it straight up since um, probably probably around two years ago was when I stopped getting into The Sims as much. I think it's a case of The Sims 4. I was always really into The Sims 3, but I got I'm I've been getting annoyed recently with The Sims 4 and how it hasn't got the stuff that I want in it and how I have to mod the game and download all of these mods to get it to anywhere near the spec that I would want it, which considering we're five years into the game and I'm still having to add mods for gameplay, it kind of annoys me still. And I know you guys hear me talking about that all the time, but it's just, it's annoying. Does that make sense? Like, and I feel like, because it, it annoys me, like it makes me want to play it less, which doesn't work out for YouTube. I still, I still really enjoy playing it, but I just can't play the game by myself anymore. So it's kind of the only thing that I can record, but I can't sit down and play The Sims anymore. So I definitely play a lot of other games like outside of playing The Sims, which is nice because I want to go ahead and start up the other channel, the gaming channel, and record all those videos. So I don't think I'm going to be too strict with the other channel. Um, it's not necessarily going to be like series that are coming out, but it's going to be like games that I'm playing that I'm going to record and... Um, that I'm going to record and sort of like enjoy it and upload the bits that I'm enjoying and the bits that I find funny in them just because I want to be able to play other games and also give you guys content on the other games because I know you a lot of you guys say that you don't just watch me for sims you watch me for like you watching me play like other games as well which I never thought would be the case but if you guys are interested in that stuff then yeah I think that's good then I should go ahead and provide for you guys <laughs> Besides Seven Days to, uh, to Die, what other games are you going to play? So I was definitely thinking of Minecraft. I'm trying to think of other things that aren't necessarily survival based. But recently, I've really been enjoying survival based games. Um, there are other games that I enjoy, but it's just like my thing recently. I swap between liking survival based games and then liking other games. But I really want a story based game. So definitely when Dying Light 2 comes out, which is kind of a survival game, but it follows the story. Um, I'm going to be playing that with Ben because I've already played the first one, which obviously we didn't record. That was kind of like an off off camera thing. That was before I was doing YouTube again. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. Um, I I Last of Us 2. Maybe that gets PS4. Oh yeah, that's true. That'd but I haven't got a capture too. card to record that. That's the only thing. Oh, the Last of Us true. 2 is like is is a really good game. Have you tried the interactive game Wolf Among Us? I have, the issue with these games is they're great. Like a lot of you guys suggested all these story based games. The issue is I watched other people play them and now I know the story and I'm like, should I play it myself? Will I enjoy it as much as I watch somebody else play it? Does that make sense? Like I've seen, I, I, like, I watched other people's videos on them. So I know how they, I know like what the story is <laughs> because um, as much as like before I was doing YouTube, I was a lot like you guys where I'd like, if I see a vi like if I see a game, I would watch somebody else play through it normally I'd, other than playing it myself. Uh, it's kind of just the way that it, kind of just the way that it went, you know. 
how do you record your videos and what do you use to play so I record my videos using OBS um, but I am gonna make a video about this I was thinking either next week or the week after um, I wanted to do a video showing you guys how I record my videos and um, I also wanted to do a video showing you my settings that I use for all like my recording and stuff um, and then also how I make my thumbnails as well because I know a lot of people if they want to get into YouTube will struggle when they make thumbnails especially for sims um, and I feel like I've definitely gotten better recently I'm making thumbnails so I thought it'd be nice to show you guys how I do that stuff and also there's a few different mods that I use in games so like I put my sims in in a pose and then I put a green screen behind them and then I take them into Photoshop I cut out the green screen and then I add different like a bunch of different stuff in Photoshop and adds different filters and things um, and that's how I make my thumbnails so I thought it'd be nice to show you guys how I do that stuff When do you stream on Twitch? Um, I normally stream on Twitch on Wednesdays. So Wednesday nights are the days if you want to go see me on there. <laughs> um, I didn't stream this this Wednesday, but I'll be streaming this Wednesday coming if that makes sense. You could choose different options to get different endings though. It'll be the same story, but different outcomes. That is true. That is very, very true. There's a lot of games I'd want to play, but I'm scared of. <laughs> like I'd love to play Until Dawn, but that game scares the living Jesus out of me. And personally, I don't actually like playing horror games because they scare me so much. But honestly, I should probably just get over and play them. <laughs> you guys will probably get more entertainment out of it anyways. <laughs> when does school end for you? Um, school has officially ended for me now, like university, so I haven't got anything, um, I haven't got anything else to do, so just, uh, just, um, YouTube at the minute, so, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be able to, like, sit and do my own thing, play my own games, and still record them. I think the thing is, is, like, a lot of the time I, I want to play other games other than Sims, especially, especially recently, I've really, really been enjoying playing all these other games, so I think it'll just be nice to set up the gaming channel now and just record those other games that I'm playing and just make videos out of them you know <laughs> and modder posted a tweet saying that they were working on an open world mod um i think they're called the sims plus or something like that i wonder how it would work but i can't wait i've seen those tweets and those look so good i need to get that mod or get my hands on that mod when it does come out because that just sounds amazing honestly <laughs> They're making a bunch of custom worlds as well. I think they're currently making a medieval world. I think that was one of the ones that I saw as well. Detroit Become Human looks good. That is one of the only games I didn't see somebody fully play through. I believe I watched a few episodes, about four episodes, um, and I didn't see someone actually finish the game. So and uh, Detroit Become Human will definitely be one of the ones if I play them over on the channel. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys want to see like a full playthrough of them from start to finish or if you guys would prefer for me to cut out things and put more interest uh, and put like the only the interesting things in them. I don't know what you guys want to see. I don't know if you want to follow the story from start to finish with me or if you want me to cut out um, a lot of the unnecessary bits, if that makes sense, and keep the interesting bits in. I suppose it's worth me asking you guys now. <laughs> How much do you love the legacy challenge? The legacy challenge is my favorite challenge in The Sims 4, without a shadow of a doubt. It's my favorite challenge. It's the thing that I enjoy the most. I most enjoy streaming and I most enjoy, um, I most enjoy like, you know, recording them and, and doing them like this. So yeah, uh, I think the legacy challenge is probably my favorite. The 100 baby challenge is fun, but it's like a grind. Whereas legacy challenge, I feel like I enjoy it more because I can express myself, you know? <laughs> Have you finished uni forever or just for the term? It's officially finished for this year. So I finish now and I go back in the end of September to October. So you guys have got me for like a good few months. So don't worry about me disappearing. You guys have got me for like a really long time. So yeah. So Melly says start to finish. Uh, Chloe, I prefer Let's Plays just like your videos on this channel. So kind of like what I do here. So I normally do like a full playthrough, but I cut out some of the things that like when I'm walking, I might cut those out. So do you guys do you guys like the sound of that? Like just just cutting out like the super boring bits, especially like when I'm not talking, but keeping all of the like interesting content. And if there's any cut scenes, keeping those things in so you guys can watch those as well. And also, do you guys like when you have a face cam on the videos? I feel like this is this isn't just a QA, this is like me questioning you guys. Do you guys like it when there's a face cam on the video, especially on the gaming videos? Would you guys prefer if there's a face cam or not? Is the face cam too distracting on gaming videos? What what do you guys prefer? 
I think keep the first few videos with all the story and then we can decide if we want to like continue like that or cut the rest of the boring stuff out. Yeah, I think I think so. If I go ahead and like give you guys a heads up um, and like let you guys decide what you want to do, I think that's probably better. Sander Sisters cool. Let's play as well. Storyline is wholesome. See, that's the thing I like about the Sander Sisters. There's no strict like following. There's no, it's not like a challenge. It's not like I have to do these things. I get to just do what I want. I send my girls to uni. I let them do well if they want to. I don't let them do well if they want to. They have a teen pregnancy. They can have a teen pregnancy. They want to kill someone. They can go kill someone. You know, they, they, they don't ruin anything by doing and just them letting them do what they want, which is why I like it. I like that sort of. Um, I like that sort of stuff <laughs> Because we get to see your reactions to people doing the dirty. I like the face cam. Yes face cam for reactions face cam Okay, so everybody's all over face cam face cam it is then I guess I guess you guys want to see my reactions <laughs> Directly on face cam. We'll go ahead and do that then. Are you excited for the new eco lifestyle pack? I had mixed feelings about it. I did tell you guys this. I believe it was on the other stream. I did really have mixed feelings about it. But from what I heard on Twitter, the gurus confirmed that there was a thing that would be going on um, where the what you what you do in that pack. So like whether you take care of the world will affect all the different worlds. Does that make sense? Like it, it's not just going to affect this one world if you don't if you don't like you know if you pollute all the other worlds um or sorry if you pollute that world and you don't take care of it it's it's gonna pollute all the other worlds does that make sense am i i'm probably not explaining it very well but if you guys get what i mean i think that sounds really cool like being able to see all the other worlds like super polluted and then like developing like your sim and the personality and then like improving on these worlds i think that's really cute so hopefully it's as good as it sounds at least that section of it but i just don't know if there's going to be enough content in it for it to be a full expansion pack so as much as i can try obviously as soon as it comes out i will do a new series on it um i'll have some stuff set up i haven't really decided what's going to go down with that but i will definitely be doing a let's play um but i am going to be really honest with you guys and say if i think it's worth you buying because i, I know a lot of you guys watch my let's plays and you go based on that whether you think it would be worth you buying a certain pack so I'm gonna be honest with you guys and say once I've played it whether I think you guys should whether I think you should, guys should buy it or not, you know. <laughs> do you recommend cats and dogs? I do. I think I think it's really nice to have. Normally in a lot of my households I do have a cat or a dog, so I do think it's worth getting. Um especially Brindleson Bay. Brindleson Bay is a really nice world. In fairness, cats and dogs was a good was a good pack. They just could have done more with it. Honestly, I say this about all the packs in The Sims. I feel like it's just because the packs in The Sims aren't as developed as they were in The Sims 3, um, or at least in The Sims 4, which is why I would say all of these packs be could be developed more. Like the pets in The Sims 3 was just a lot more, um, was just a lot more ugh, put together. There was more you could do with each of your like animals and stuff, but it is a good pack and it has a lot of good content. So yeah, I do think it's a good pack, but um, yeah. Honestly, it doesn't look that exciting to me at all. It's it's it looks exciting in some ways. There's a lot of things in it that I like the look of like the candle making I thought that looks really cool. There are some stuff in it that I think is gonna be good. I just um, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen enough of it We'll go ahead and watch the live stream and um, they're gonna be doing like a little live stream How they like you know where they showcase all the features and stuff they showcase the gameplay They're gonna be doing one of those so I think we'll watch through that and see what that's like um, and then we'll make our judgment and then obviously once we actually get to playing then I can go ahead and tell you guys what I think is good and what I don't think is good If you were able to create a new expansion pack, what would it be and what would it include? <laughs> um, hold on my phone just went off so it looked like somebody discorded me. Um, I think oh, I've got hair in my mouth <laughs> Okay, I'm good <laughs> um, I think if I could make an expansion pack it would be uh, can it can it be anything like can it be realistic? Does it have to be realistic or not? Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that I want in the game. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> Can I have like a pack that's like everything missing from the Sims 4 that was in the Sims 3? <laughs> is that is that is that a shade? No in fairness if I could have any pack in the Sims 4 it would be a generations pack it would be like f like a game that includes a lot more content for the rest of like basically 
no one cares about no one cares about kids about teenagers about toddlers about babies no one cares about elders because there's nothing in the game for these guys and i just i want i want content for them i want way more content i want kids to be able to like you know just do so many more different things like kids should be able to like bake muffins and stuff and have their own little like baking area and like old people should be able to like sit and like reminisce about their family and there should just be a bunch of different stuff that's currently not in the game that i think should be um, that I thought would be like cool to include in like a generations pack. So if I could have one, it would be adding more content to all the rest of the life states in the game. Because right now, the only ones people care about are young adults and technically adults because they're kind of like young adults, except with wrinkles. So that's literally the only difference. What's your least favorite pack and your favorite pack? Okay, hold on. Let me let me get the some four packs up, and I can tell you what ones are like my least favorite and stuff. Right, okay. So, let me turn down the music just a tiny bit. There we go. Right, so, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, 19 days until the uh, Eco Lifestyle Pack's coming out, guys. Um, so, um, expansion pack. Should we go to the expansion? So, do you want me to pick one from the expansion packs and one from, like, each thing? So, I can pick, like, one game pack that's the worst, one stuff pack that's the worst, one, uh, one expansion pack that's the worst, and then one that I think is the best, I think. If you guys want to see that. Why won't it let me just see all the packs? Oh, I've got click there, that's why. Oops. Yeah, you want me to do that? Okay, so going through the expansion packs, my favourite pack... My favourite pack is probably... Uh, it's probably Seasons. It, it, it's probably Seasons, my favourite pack. Just because I feel like that's something that you have to have in the game for it to be... For it to be, like, complete. I don't know. How is it a life simulation game without weather? Like, what... What country? I don't, I don't. I don't know a single country where it's always sunny, and then there's no clouds, there's no rain, there's no thunderstorms, there's no snow. I just don't know a country or a, any place that that exists. So I think seasons is like a must-have for me. The content in it was really, really nice. Having the whole holidays thing, the calendar's really good. Um, uh, having the ice skating rinks, the roller skating rinks. I think those are really cool. So that's probably one of my main ones. If I could give you guys a second, a second and third. Am I allowed to have a second and third? Honestly, there are a few good expansion packs with The Sims. Probably Discover University. I know a lot of you guys say that you get bored of it, but honestly, whenever I play The Sims, I always love using the, the university stuff. I love sending my Sims off to uni, especially since I'm in uni, so I can relate to it. I love having them do well in work. I love having them do well, really well in school, so that so well that they earn a lot of money when they come out, because that's like the goal for me. <laughs> that makes sense. I want to go to uni to get a good job afterwards and earn more money. So that's kind of just the way that it, it's kind of the way it rolls, you know? So I can kind of relate to that situation. I think that's really good. And also one of my favorites is City Living. City Living is one of the best packs. Like in terms of content, the apartments are really, really good. They're super fun to play in. I play in apartments a lot, as you guys have seen. Um, also the the festivals those are great honestly the the girl the um the festivals are really really good they're super fun to go to they give you something to do um the flea markets i have a mod that's set up so every sunday there's a flea market it reminds me of like where i live there's always this little market that goes up um it's not it's not where i live it's kind of far away but it's called dagna market if you guys know what it's called I, I don't know if you're from the uk you might know this dagna market if you live like around where i am it's known for all like these little cute little fake things and like you go there and you eat all this like cheap greasy food and it's just like a ritual that at some point, if you've lived from where I've lived, you would have had to have gone to Dagnan Market and looked at all the fake stuff. And it's just, it's like, it's the thing. It's, it's the thing to do. So but it reminds me a little bit of that and looking around at all people's stalls and stuff. It kind of reminds me of a garage sale. So that's kind of what I like about it. So those are my favourites. My least favourite. Oh, wait, hold on. Island Living for the World. Island Living for the World. If you need a good world. Oh, that's, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. Imani says, yes, I love that market. Imani, I respect you. <laughs> um, my least favourite pack is Get Together. Uh, it's It's got to be Get Together. That's the most useless pack in the world. I'm sorry. That pack with its club system is just useless. Like, I never use it. It has no relevance to my life. 
If it disappeared, I probably wouldn't even notice. If, if the game if the game automatically uninstalled it, I probably would never know. I never use anything from that game. It includes nothing. It just is useless and I would never recommend buying it. If you could save your money, just just save your money. Windenburg, it does give a new world. Windenburg's a really nice world, but does that make up for the fact that there's nothing else in it other than one world? No, it does not, okay? I don't want to play 40, 40, 40 pounds, right? It took me so long to get out. 40 pounds for a world. I'm not paying 40 pounds for a world in The Sims 4. I'm paying 40 pounds for a world plus content, okay? Which is what you get with basically all the other packs, but just not that. Just not that. It's not it. It's not it. What's your favourite sim you've ever created? My favourite sim is Emily from the, um, from the Sanders Sisters. So Emily Sanders, San Sanders, Sanders. Right, okay, so that's my favorite, and then there's my worst of expansions. So let me go down to game packs. So we've got to go and berate all the game packs now. <laughs> okay, so my favorite game pack is... I've got a few in here, in fairness. Can I go one, two, three like I did on the last one? One of my favourite packs is Dine Out. That one is my favourite pack. Honestly, it's a little glitchy. I do have to have a modding game where my food finally turns up and even that doesn't fix it all the time. But I love using Dine Out. I use it all the time. Like I always have my Sims go out to restaurants just all the time. They always do that. Um, I think it's very, very realistic. It's a nice system. You can own your own restaurants. I think that's really nice. And I just think it's like a must have, like having restaurants in a game. Me and Ben are always going to restaurants. So I think it's just with a life simulation game, you kind of just have to do it. Like it's just, it's just a really good pack. If it was made a bit better, it would be amazing. But it's just a must have for me, which is why I would put it at like one of my top ones. Second is probably Spa Day. Again, another one of those packs that I always use. I love the yoga mat. I love the meditation stuff. I love my Sims going to a spa slash uh, gym because they're very common, especially in the UK. We go, um, we go to like you know a gym, and normally it has like a pool and it has like a massage table. I love having my Sims get massages, pedicures, you know, foot massages, sitting in the sauna, all of that stuff. It makes for a really really nice little girls' day out. And my third favorite is Parenthood because it's a must-have in the game as well. Like these are all like things that you guys need, okay? <laughs> Um, parenthood with the whole situation of um, like having your sims finally like tell other sims off um, and like developing their like parenting skills and stuff like that um, and also developing their character values is really nice like your sim will turn into like a specific type of sim like they'll have good manners where they won't like I don't know burp at the table and stuff like that it's just nice to include all of those things there is also a mod for chores as well which is really good so you can set up chores on that little bulletin board that you get so i think that one's that one's a good one generations would have been better it's true but if i if parenthood was as close as i could get then i'd take it than not having any at all and my most my least favorite mat uh my least favorite pack there's a few. <laughs> There's a few. So, Strangerville. I know a lot of people say it was their favourite pack. I don't like it, personally. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't know. It was boring to me. It's a one-time play thing. You literally play through the story once and it's over. There's not really any benefit of playing through that story. There was just nothing... It was nice following a story, but it literally lasted like one second of you going and you going like defeating this like monster thing and then that was it. It was over and it acted like it never happened. And yeah, I just thought it was kind of useless. The The map was quite nice. Having like a Strangerville map was really nice. Um, but I don't like how there's a bunch of like like weird people always walking around i really wish it was like an opt-out system like not be included in strangerville weirdness and just get rid of the weird sims do you know what i mean like you know that the crazed sims like i don't mind weird sims like weird sims are cute they're quirky you know we like those but having people walking around like zombies is it realistic if you come from where i am probably because a lot of people are like you know they're on drugs but other than that no okay i don't know probably not <laughs> so it was a it was a no for me realm of magic 
pr pretty useless. Probably have never played it since I've done that Let's Play on it. Stop my Let's Play because it was kind of boring as well. Um, yeah, it won't it. And also, um, Vampires. Vampires, never used that one either. Just, um, just not a lot. Not a lot there. Not much. No. So if you could save your money, don't buy those. <laughs> Basically, I'm, I'm trying to help you. But um, there's definitely things that you could include to make those packs better. But should you have to go out and download mods to make these better? No. So, I don't... If, if I could choose these specific, like, packs without mods, then I'd say those are your ones that you probably would want to stay away from and go for different ones. Save your money on those right until the very end unless you want to, like, complete your collection. But you're not really missing out on much if you don't get them. So... Stuff packs. My favourite stuff pack. Hmm. Um, I forgot how many stuff packs there were. Okay, so probably one of my favourite stuff packs is Laundry Day. I think that's probably one of the ones that I use most. Honestly, stuff packs are probably one of the things that I use the least in games in general. But Laundry Day is one of the biggest things that I use. Um, I like having my Sims do laundry. I think that's kind of fun. I don't know why, but I like having my Sims do chores. Because maybe I don't do chores in real life. So I like to represent myself as a good person in the game. Maybe that's why. I just like having my sims do the laundry. I think that's really good. So probably laundry day stuff is probably one of my favourites for content. Um, oh, I never use most of these. <laughs> um, okay, worst packs. Worst packs. Never use Machino stuff. I don't know if you guys use it, but I downloaded it. And in fact, it was one of the only packs that I didn't buy as soon as it came out. And like, didn't know, I uh, haven't even noticed that it's been in my game since it came out. I don't use any in-game content for Crazy Sims. So probably stuff packs are a little bit more useless to me than most people. I know there's a lot of people that don't download mods or don't have the opportunity to. Especially if you're on console, you only get what's given to you in the games. So I can respect that there is a nice, uh, there is a few pieces of content in there that's nice. But again, if it was uninstalled from my game, wouldn't even know that it's not there. So useless. My first pet stuff is a disgusting money grab. The fact that you have to own another stuff pack or another another expansion pack a 40 pound expansion pack that i felt wasn't finished to begin with to get some of the content that's in this pack is just disgusting so much so that we don't even have to talk about it we don't talk about my first pet stuff and probably one of the most useless ones uh, also along with um along with spooky stuff when are you going to whip out spooky stuff unless you've got seasons because that's the only way that you're going to get a holiday for halloween so when the hell are you going to whip out a witch outfit trick or treating and a pumpkin probably never unless you're going to celebrate it without having halloween but then it's not really got the same feel to it and three perfect patio stuff the whole point of this pack i don't know if you guys see hold on let me like let me let me show you guys this ready so this hold on wait i'm, I'm not showing you the right thing hold on, close that open that Wait, there you go. Can you see now? Right, this this is what I'm looking at to like pick out the stuff. Perfect patio stuff. It it like it advertises here a hot tub. But they gave you hot tubs in an update. So what's the point of having that pack now? That there, there was they literally come out with a eight pound pack. You paid eight pound for some patio stuff and a hot tub. And the hot tub was the biggest the biggest like thing in it like it was like you get hot tubs if you buy this and do you want to use hot tubs like they're kind of cute yeah but then they just gave them out for free afterwards so it kind of makes me feel like well i like i paid seven pounds for something that i got to use for a few years and now it's being offered for free it was like what was the point in that like i don't even i don't even understand you can grill stuff in that pack surely you can grill stuff surely you can grill stuff in in the normal game surely there's like the ability to have a barbecue. Please tell me there's a there's a barbecue in the base game. Please don't don't tell me that perfect patio stuff in that you couldn't grill stuff. They they do you can grill stuff in the base game, right? 
yeah, you can grow stuff in the base game. So other than, other than having a hot tub, I think that was the most unique thing that this pack included. Hot tub, chill outside, poolside. Well, pools already came in the game in a free update. Dress down and kick back. Well, I don't use any of that stuff anyways. So overall, most useless pack to me ever. They gave me, they gave me a hot tub in the base game. I could always chill outside by the poolside. Heat things up with a new barbecue grill. That's what CC's for. Dress down, kick back. Well, I'm never going to use that stuff because I use CC in general. So just overall, it just, um, it's pretty useless. Hold on, let me move you over there so I can actually see. Ben, Ben's like rubbing my arm because he's seen how heated I'm getting yeah, about. No, yeah, I'm very heated. About the fact that this game is unfinished. <gasps> oh God, you, don't, you guys don't know. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just moving this over. I just don't want you guys to waste your money on these shitty packs that are unfinished on stuff that you could just have for free. Like you could have this stuff for free and not buy it. Why would you, oh, just don't, just don't be me. Don't be me and don't try and complete your collection. <laughs> I'm getting heated here, people. <laughs> What's your game changer gone? <laughs> it was never here. <laughs> no, I was never going to give it to me. Not a chance. <laughs> it makes me super mad too, Lauren. <laughs> it's okay, Lauren. It's okay. Do you, you, I don't think you guys understand. Like, it's like, I can't advocate to you to buy these specific things if they are useless i just i can't i can't do it it's not it's not in my it's not in my ability to have you guys buy something that's useless so just to let you guys know <laughs> mary you walked in on something here <laughs> breathe lauren i'm trying okay it's fine it's, i'm trying it's okay right the game is unfinished i've had to accept that for five years and is it ever going to be finished? Probably not. But let's just all cross our pinky fingers and our pinky toes that they, and all the other toes as well, don't forget those ones, that they will release a, an amazing Sims 5. Or maybe even they will improve The Sims 4. Maybe I could hope so much as that. But if they don't, then let's all spend another few thousand pounds on The Sims 5 and hope that it was better than The Sims 4. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> We are going to go into the Sims build section. I think we've done, well, we're kind of done with this with the question uh, Q&A. I will come back and do a few questions as we're going through, but we're going to go, like hop into like a little bit of build stuff. So, yeah, I think we'll uh, I think we'll I think we'll do that. So, let me go and load up my game. I believe this is the on my own stuff. There we go. Right. Okay, and the main can be unlocked. Also, we need more CC episodes. Uh, what does that mean? What, what, what do you mean? Build and chill. Yeah, I, I certainly need to chill out here. <laughs> As you can see, I'm getting all heated because the game's unfinished. <sighs> okay, I need to stop. <laughs> it's, it's fine, Lauren. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> okay, right, let, let's load up. Let's hope The Sims 5 had bunk beds. Come on, EA. Oh, yes, that's true. Honestly, how how do they not include bunk beds? I don't even know. It should have come in parenthood. Or maybe this imaginary pack that I made up, the Generations pack, maybe it should just include it, be included in that, you know? All the things that Sims 3 has that The Sims 4 doesn't. Because the fact is, the CC bunk beds, they're amazing, but they really, um, they really do... Um, they really do struggle to, like... You, I mean, your Sims can't sit on it without it being broken. Like, your Sims will get stuck on it. So it'd be nice to have to have like them always there if that makes sense does that make sense kind of <laughs> the babies are just sad i don't even want to talk about sims 4 babies the most useless things ever like what is the point in sims 4 babies literally an item they're just a small bundle of cuteness that's useless absolutely useless you just can't wait for them to age up so that they're toddlers and you can actually play with them at least give them a changing table or something. I don't even know. Like, there's just nothing to them. When Sims 5 comes out, if um, comes out, if it's better than Sims 4, I'll probably never play The Sims 4 again. Yeah, honestly. This, this is disgusting, okay? I was talking to you guys about this. What even is this? Okay, one, I own every pack. So don't you dare try and advertise me a, a deal on another pack when I already own this. Two... 
it, it's already enough to tell people what they own and what they don't and make people feel bad because some people can't buy everything that's that's on here and then they just like they pop it up in your face when you load up the game i don't i don't even know i don't even know about this I'm excited for para lives. Oh my god, they're going to be releasing a video of the para folk um, on Tuesday, so I'm really excited to see about that and see like what they look like. Hopefully, they're really cute and they are expandable and customizable. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I fixed the I fixed the game. Um, we found out that basically my money kept going up in the last episode. You remember it, when we were playing the Legacy Challenge, my money just kept randomly like shooting up and up. Um, it kept doing that. And I finally fixed it. It was because I had some uh, settings in MCC enabled and it was reacting to the bills mod. Um, I've had to turn them off for now until I figure out a fix. But yeah, that's what that's what happened. Yes, I know. I'm going to retweet it when they do release that. So I'll, I'll share it so you guys will get a chance to see it. Did I miss anything? You missed a, you missed a little, like, you know, I was just having a rant. It was just a lot, you know, it was just a lot. I had to turn off my, um, I had to turn off my child support payments and also the inheritance money that comes in, like when a family member dies, um, I had to turn off those two settings. So any money settings were conflicting with it. So until, um, I was speaking to the creator of the mod, until there's a fix for it, right now I've just had to turn them off because there's no way of fixing it. It works in new saves, but in older saves that the bills are installed to, it doesn't work. So if I make a new save now and play in it, it's fine. But if I use an old save like this one, it doesn't work. So. I don't know, I couldn't work out what it was and I kind of just had to give up. And there's another mod to install, love that for me. Right, okay, we are in game and luckily everybody is basically out, well other than you honey. Why are you even up here? Oh god, you're gorgeous, but you need to go away, it's okay. You're literally wasting us so much money. Okay, goodbye, Good goodbye. Why are you not at school? Oh, I forgot, <laughs> I, I'm, I loaded up the game to try and fix it whilst you guys were gone. And in that time, um, he aged up to a young adult. So John's now a young adult. He's got 28 days until he aged up to an adult. I completely missed that. So he's probably gonna be moving out at some point, but probably not soon because honestly, kind of love this whole weed system he's got going on out here. It's super fun to just go out there and like, you know, sort out this stuff. Um, he's suffering from a little bit of acne, John, honey. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's all that stuff you've been smoking. You know, maybe that's giving you some 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 bad, some uh, some bad some bad skin. Let's give him a one-time treatment. Let's see if we can get rid of those little spuddies that he's got. He can move out now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I uh, to be honest, we've, I, we've we've all kind of like developed a feelings for John now. Like we didn't like John when he first moved in, but now we kind of like John. So maybe he will, maybe he will, um, maybe he'll move out, but not just yet. We have got a little bit of a storyline to follow between him and Miyuki. Um, you guys saw me give Miyuki that hair, I think. So yeah, you guys have seen that bit. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the way it's going. Happy B day, honey. Hope you're enjoying your day. It is your B-Day, right? Uh, is that Isaac? Uh, Isaac is friend. Must be so high on those drugs that we sent him. Uh, we, we went and sold Isaac drugs yesterday. And pretty sure he's high as... F um, yeah, because he... He, uh, he thought it was our birthday. Actually, it was our birthday, was it? Oh, it was our birthday. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Maybe it's not that high. <laughs> okay, go make yourself a BLT and get out of the way for a little while. Oh my god, little doggies. Um, I'm gonna might send him out for like a uh, a walk with the dog. <laughs> um, what's going on here? It's the school spelling bee, and Marina has made it to the final round. But this time, she's never even heard of the word she's supposed to spell. Glancing around the room, Marina sees the class brainiac flashing her her notebook with a word written neatly on it. Should she accept the help or give it her best guess? It's accept the help, Marina. Okay, someone's trying to help you. You might make a new friend. Pretending to concentrate, Marina closes her eyes and recites the letters the girls sh um, showed him incorrect. Snaps the pro... pro... procuta? Procuta. Marina loses. The Brainiac falls off her chair laughing along with half the room. It was a mean trick. What a bitch. <laughs> I didn't even know who that was. I thought we were going to make a new friend, you know? Never mind. Okay. Looks like we're not going to. Looks like we're not going to make a new friend. What are you even doing? Are you going to make that BLT or not? I might even take one of the dogs out for a walk just to try and get him out of the way. I need to finish off the living room because we've now got 47,000. 
Um, the teacher steps out for a second. She asked Miyuki to run the class for a little while. She told Miyuki keep following the lesson plan the teacher laid out or do something fun and easy with her classmates. Miyuki would definitely follow the plan. She's a little suck up, you know, we love her. <laughs> but she is a suck up. Um, and browsing through an art brocage, um, brokerage website, bro not brokerage, Nevaeh notices a certain painting that has been grossly undervalued. Should she take advantage of this deep discount or contact the site to have them correct the mistake? Honestly, when something like this comes up, you take a good deal, my babes. You take that good deal. Right, and even though this, was Miyuki, this wasn't Miyuki's idea, her classmates are angry about having her in charge, okay? And at the last minute, Nevaeh is outbid by another buyer. She wasn't the only one to realise what a great deal this was. And she got a media performance loss. I want her to get to level 10 before she dies. And that's not the way to do it, okay? That's not the way to do it. Lauren's been streaming for an hour, but you haven't missed a whole lot, Shana. Yeah, I've uh, I've been doing a little uh, little Q and A before, so you didn't miss anything. Um, but I think we're going to take Mika out for a nice little stroll. Let's go and, and get to know her a little bit, and then we will also go ahead and take her out for a jog. There we go. Is he? But I think he's broken because he's trying to get in that bed, and it just it ain't working for him. So let me go ahead and reset him. There you go. Now will you take Mika out for a walk, please? There you go. Go for a walk. Go for a jog. I think you should wait for him to move out till the siren thing is resolved. Yeah, that's the goal. That is, that's the goal. We're not going to have him move out until that whole thing is resolved. Oh my god, look at that girl. She's standing here looking thick. And she can go and take Tursal out for a jog as well. Because I want both of them out. Um, because, yeah, she uh, she needs um, she needs her room decorated. Because right now it's like, it's no. It's a no. The poor, the poor love. She literally paid all this money and now like her bedroom looks the way it does um, and it's not really on so you oh my god she's thick thick oh my god our girl is a thick thick I respect that Nevaeh all them children all them cupcakes I lo we love you our queen our queen Nevaeh <laughs> where'd you get the bath and shower in the ensuite um what one are you talking about in this one um, the bath and shower is actually one that comes in the game, I believe, and it's just like a decorated one or a custom one. I don't know, let me, let me find out the name of it, hold on. It's called Extreme Shower Tub with Customizable Curtain. If you look that up, I'm sure you will find something about it, but it's called Extreme Shower Tub. It's, it's a recolor of this one, I believe, this, this, this one here, which is Extreme Shower Tub Pico Mo, Pico Mo, Modi. Pico Modi, I think that's it. She's that thick queen. <laughs> oh, she's Doja Cat thick. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and turn on all the lights. We'll set it. Um, let me just zoom out and turn all the lights because right now I can't see Jack. Where's the light? It's like super tiny right here. Mm, there it is. Turn on all lights. Right, there we go. Now I can see and I can do a bit of decorating. I really wish it wasn't thundering and like raining, but you, you don't get everything you want. Right, okay. So I think we will finish off doing the living room and then we will work our way around. The hallway is going to need to be done, the bedroom needs to be done, and the upstairs needs to be done. So maybe we won't get around to all of it today, but at least we'll get some of it done and then I can do the rest off screen. Um, and that will give me a little bit of time to yeah talk to you guys as well. So I did want to go ahead and put in some shelves over here. I think shelves would be really cute. We're going to need move objects on for this stuff. There we go. So I was thinking something, not like that, but like an actual shelf. If I can find it. Building time. Okay, right. So I was thinking of shelves. I don't want to do too modern because obviously it won't really match the rest of the house. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking shelves would be nice. Even, even something like that is quite cute. She's got these ones up over here. I'm trying to think of colours that might match the rest of the house. That that one looks like it kind of matches, in fairness. Her bedroom and upstairs needs help. Yeah, the um the bedroom definitely needs help. The um the downstairs, uh, the the upstairs needs help, like for sure. Um, but the downstairs is looking okay. It's just not finished yet. Oh, here we go. Right, how am I, <laughs> I going to do this? Um, that's cute though. I really like that. Okay, I'm getting distracted now. <laughs> Come on, Lauren. 
So that would look cute if I didn't have little hangers off of it. I wish I could just delete certain stuff, but like, pretty cute, but not what I wanted. That's cute, actually. That can go at the front. That can go at the front house. There we go. How do you not have 1 million subscribers? <laughs> um, I, thank you very much, but I don't think I've been doing this for anywhere near long enough to have a million subscribers, or at least not yet. Hopefully, um, hopefully we'll, we'll gradually get up there. It would be amazing to have a million subscribers, but probably not just yet. Okay, so let me try and fix this up. There we go, fit that right in there, love that. Um, what colors does it go in? Ooh, it does actually go in like a little colour that matches the rest of the house. Kind of. Mm. What other colours does it come in? Actually, that one probably suits the house more. The family will grow. Yes, I, I believe in it. But for the moment, I've always said to you guys that I like our little close-knit family. I think we've got like a really nice community going on here. And I think it's really cute. So, yeah, I uh, I don't mind the fact that we're like a smaller growing community because we're all close-knit and we're all enjoying ourselves here. So, yeah, I think it's cute. Um, okay, so let's go and get some of this stuff decorated in here. Um, I want some clutter in here. Oh look, more useless stuff. Pumpkins. Never use those. <laughs> um, maybe some books? Okay, maybe not those books then. Would you do a laundry room to add to the craziness? What do you... Probably. <laughs> I'm like, what do you want from me? <laughs> but yes, probably. Probably I would, uh, I would do that. You guys know I just love the struggle. I just love the struggle. So why not just add to it, you know? Add to the struggle. Um, see, I don't know what you would have in this section. Like, you're not going to have a bowl of soup in there, are you? Like, what am I going to put in there? I was thinking of more this stuff, but, like, smaller, obviously. There we go. Um, oh, that's so cute. Look at that. It's like a little mini house. That's cute. A little roll of tape. Yeah, you might need some tape. Go over to, go over there to go get your tape. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll start a new series soon? I think the newest series that will come out will be the um I think the new the new series that will come out will be the new pack that will be coming out. I think that's probably going to be the newest series that'll be out. Um and then we might do some more series after that, but for the moment I think that's going to be our newest series. Um are you guys currently happy with the series or is there any sort of specific series that you guys would want to see from me? Um I know you guys like, you know, we all get cravings to play certain things. So if there's anything that you guys feel like you want to see me play, like a certain series or a certain challenge or something like that, go ahead and let me know. Um and I'm sure I can put those into the boxes of ideas. <laughs> I remember how we used to get excited over an oven to the shack and now we have a house like this. I know. I can't even believe we have this much money now. Like, I'm so proud of her. You know, she she went through and she struggled for her family, but now she is rich, rich. And I love it. Oh, we love her being rich, rich. Um, those can actually swap. There we go. Uh, oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Why? Okay, like that. It pokes her a little bit, but we'll just ignore it. <laughs> animal crossing challenge? What's the animal crossing challenge? I've never heard of that one. I'm literally just putting anything up here. Like, why not stick some toothbrushes up there? <laughs> no one's going to even be able to reach that stuff. Actually, it's probably better to put this stuff down here so they can reach them. I'm just looking forward to your project you said that you was going to be doing in the future. You mean the save file? Oh my god, I can't wait to start that next week. Um, I've already got some ideas in my in my mind of certain areas that I want to be themed like certain places. I was thinking um, in Oasis Springs. Um, I, I believe it's called Oasis Springs now, but I'll probably end up changing it. I'm thinking of doing some sort of like mexican theme i'm thinking i, d I don't know i want to do like obviously because it's really hot and it's desert like i was thinking of doing it like a certain type of theme so i want to i want to keep everything after certain places does that make sense like I, I, I don't know tell me if you guys think that makes sense but like each place 
all the houses in that area and the families will be themed around a certain origin um, within the world. And I think we can kind of match that up, which I thought would be really cute. Could this just face the right way, please? Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my God. Hello? Hello? Okay. There, I guess I'll just have it straight. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Is it going to have CC in it? It is indeed, yes. It's going to be full of CC, which we don't normally do, but we are. Well, actually, we, we always do, but normally most save files don't have any CC in them. And the thing that I would like to make my CC fi uh, my save file different will be to include all of the CC that I use within my game um, and put them into... Um, put them into my save file and then that way you guys can go ahead and download it all and you'll have all of my cc um you'll have all of my creator sim cc uh, but you'll also have a bunch of my these are cute actually um you'll also have a bunch of my come on Lauren, like speak the words speak the words god damn it you'll have a bunch of my build cc as well so creator sim cc and build cc you'll have you'll have all of that stuff oh this is cute that's so cute. I like that. I love like how we've got like little modern accents in this house. That's really nice. Um, it would be nice to have like a plant down there as well, just to spruce it up. Maybe even like a little, um, what I mean like something like this, you know, even if we have that one as well, we could always actually have that one over there. Where are these pictures from? The name of them is Novas Painting Collection number two. So it will probably be, the creator will be Novas. And it will be painting collection number two. So go ahead and search that up, and you can normally find the stuff if you uh, if you just search up the name of them. What is your favourite series so far? Um, currently, it's kind of this series. This is like one of my favourites. But also, I love um, I love recording the Sanders sisters because I can be much more free with that series. Um, I can include boring bits. I can include non-boring bits if I want to. I can just do exactly as I want with that series, and I think I'm a lot more. Um, it's, it's a lot nicer to be a lot more free with it. So yeah, that's probably probably my favorite one um, Where is that little family board? I'm thinking about putting a little family board up here so they can do all of that stuff Where is that? How do I do Where do I get that family board from so that I can have them do like chores? Do you guys get what I mean, right? They're not gonna be in the outside areas. Come on Lauren Are they here? Are they in wall decorations? What's it called? Bulletin. Let me try it. Hold on. It's from the Parenthood pack. There we go. I found it. I found it. Well, you guys found it for me, but we get the idea. <laughs> there we go. We'll have it that one. So we can go ahead and set up chores in the house to make sure everybody's doing that and set up curfews and stuff. We don't want anybody getting in trouble with the family. Um, and then we'll have some more, um, some more stuff going on around here. I want a big plant over in this corner. Be nice to have a big bushy, bushy plant. Big, nice big bushy plant. Not that. Do you have any tips for the 100 baby challenge? Honestly, have you, have you seen my 100 baby challenge? It's not going well. It's, it's going okay now, but it's just honestly a, um, a, a big struggle, so. I'm probably not your best giver of advice. There's a lot of people in the chat though that pro could probably give good advice, but um, yeah, I, I mm -hmm. yeah, I'm probably not the person to give the advice. Um, eh. It would be nice to include something with a little bit more color in here, but it probably doesn't really suit the rest of the house. So that's fine. We'll just leave it without it in there. And then we gave them a little thing in here, which actually I'm thinking now is probably like not gonna match the rest of the house. So maybe we should get rid of that. All the advice I have is good luck. Oh no, <laughs> that's true though. That's, uh, you need all the good luck. <laughs> you need all. I looked on the Sims res the Sims resource CC website and I found loads of Miss Lollipop Sims CC. Oh, do you mean like, oh, do you mean like you looked on there and you saw a bunch of CC that I've got in my game? Yeah, I've got a bunch of, um, I've got a bunch of CC from now, uh, from The Sims Resource. 
There we go. Oh, that's nice, actually. You know what? I actually love this house. It, it includes a bunch of, like... Um, a bunch of like modern things and a bunch of like non-modern things, which I think is perfect um, I think it's really nice that it's not all oldie weldy if that makes sense Like it's not all not oldie weldy, but it's not all themed around this whole island theme Like some of it is like this area, but then we've also got mixtures of modern touches and contemporary stuff I think that's really cute that we've got a bunch of like different stuff Fan items and merch stuff. I mean Wait, what? There's, there's, no, there's not. There's no way. There's no way there's fan, no. There's not, is there? Hold on, I need to see this for myself. Hold on, guys. If, if you guys have currently got, like, a browser open, could you look on the Sims resource and see if there is, like, um, like, merch and stuff? Like, or, like, fan-themed stuff? Like, CC that's themed around me? I, th I think that's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, I need to actually know. I need to know. Not that I don't believe you, but like I feel like I need to have like more than just one person say that they found this because I've never, never been told that that's a thing before. That's insane. Who is the favourite sim you've made out of all the series you've made? My favourite sim, who I just said a little while ago, um, is Emily Sanders. She is my favourite sim. I'm probably going to be releasing the crazy sim for her next week because I went ahead and asked you guys and a lot of you guys said that you would want to see it. So I think it might be worth me showing you guys the crazy sim of her um, because she's just stunning. So yeah, she, she deserves it. Mm. I search up Miss Lollipop Sims and Miss Lollipop and it doesn't come up with anything. I was going to say, hold on. Lauren, there are wall decos with like Miss Lollipop inspired things. Is it like inspired by like, as in like they've got like, like just generally like lollipops and stuff like that. But is it just, or are they like, have they actually got like my name in it? Like I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Do you have a storyline for all of your series? Basically, yeah, I like following a storyline. I think it makes me feel a lot more like connected to my characters if I know what their storyline is before and I know what their focuses are in life. I think it's nice to be able to follow that. So if you guys don't have storylines for your Sims and you feel like you don't get as connected to your Sims, it's always worth giving them a storyline and writing up like a little little thing like on a piece of paper just so you've got a storyline for them um, and you've got their goals. I think that's always quite nice and it makes you feel a bit more connected to your to your sims so yeah it's nice to include that stuff we love a good storyline <laughs> are you a game changer no no i am not nor do i think they would ever let me in the game changers program because i i am probably probably not great at advertising their game well i am i record videos of their game but you guys get what i mean you guys you guys get what i mean right <laughs> Um, oh, these are really cute. Oh my god, these are super cute. Oh, Hold on, I want some of these in here. Maybe... These are cute. Oh, that's nice. Maybe two of them. There we go, that's cute. We like that. Can I not recolor the thing of it? Okay, I guess I didn't want it. It's a poster decal thing. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's, um, it's, it sounds pretty cool like the 10 minute rant about how the game is lacking yeah i feel like maybe they don't want somebody who spends 10 minutes of their stream complaining about how she doesn't like their game because it doesn't include the things that she wants so yeah i feel like they don't really want me in their game changers program and that's fine you know that's absolutely fine not mad about it at all <laughs> Lauren is too honest to ever be a game changer. Lol, it's a good thing too. <laughs> it's a good thing though. What is a good thing to be too honest? Yeah. Well, you guys are definitely... You can definitely say that I'm not getting paid for any of my opinions on the game. You guys can always stand by that. No one's paying me for my opinion because your girl can't be paid to, to give out this information, you know. <laughs> I give it to you for free. <laughs> Who are your favourite Alpha CC creators? Definitely right now is being Anto Sims. He has been one of my favourites. 
Um, probably that one as like a main one. I have a few for like clothing, but it depends on like whether they're male or female and stuff like that. Each creator does things differently, but yeah, probably, probably my main ones. Right, okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this um, and finally get to redecorating her room. So let's go ahead and grab the bed. Right, we want a nice expensive bed because I don't want her um, complaining that her bed's not expensive enough. So let's go ahead and give her a nice one. <laughs> you don't want to get paid to lie, basically. I didn't say that. I, I wasn't the one to say that. You guys said that one. <laughs> I don't I don't necessarily think the game changers get paid to say stuff but I do think that as a game changer you would probably be influenced to say something over something else like not probably not be as honest as normal um, because you did get the game for free so personally I'm not saying that people would like the game changers get paid for it but I am saying that as, as me personally if I was a game changer um, I don't know. I don't know if I would personally, but I feel like other people might be influenced to say something that probably isn't as nice as they would have said before because they're getting um, because they're getting the game for free. You know, you kind of feel like influenced by somebody. If they gave you the game for free, you kind of feel like, oh, that's that's super nice of them. And, you know, you get the game early so you can showcase it to your viewers. You'd kind of feel influenced to say something a little bit nicer about it than to literally drag it through the dirt, you know, because like, well, I'm dragging things through the dirt, um, but I'm not getting the game for free. I'm paying for it. So I'm in the exact same boat as all of you guys. I'm telling you if I think it's worth your money or not. So yeah, I think that's, I think that's, yeah, it's kind of it. I'm not saying that all of them, like all game changers would act like that, but I'm just saying that it's kind of, um, kind of the way I feel at least, you know, you guys can have different opinions on it. So do you like creating sims or house building? I love creating sims, um, but I definitely have an issue with creating the exact same sims all the time. So I like to take breaks and, um, and build houses sometimes as well. Okay, we're gonna go for like a nice islandy themed room in here. I'm gonna include more CC later, but just for the minute, I'm gonna put in a bunch of, put in a bunch of like cute islandy things. There we go. You should update your CC finds website. I definitely need to. I need to include a lot more of like my newest CC because I've got quite a few, uh, quite a new things that were on the Sims resource. So I'll probably go through and update those. But again, my Tumblr isn't like completely finished. Like my Tumblr, like it's not, um, it's not a com completely finished website. If that makes sense. So I definitely need to like finish it, um, completely at some point. Just, um, I'm trying to spend all my time doing like videos and working on videos and editing them and stuff. And I've definitely been focusing a lot on like the quality of my edits recently. So yeah, I've been trying to, been trying to make those good. That's quite nice actually. That's a really nice bed cover. Ooh, ooh, I like that. That's quite nice as well. Does that go? Um, in wire? They need more swatches. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that they need more swatches for in this game. So um, it's a little annoying. It's okay. I mean, I can work around it, but CC includes way more swatches. So I don't really, I don't really come into any issues with that because I don't use a lot of stuff in game anymore. I don't know if it's just me, but when I place my CC, the swatches aren't like next to the object like Lauren's. Is that a mod? I don't know how to explain it. So what do you mean? So like when you click down here, um, obviously there's there's swatches like down here in there. And then sometimes if I want to recolor it whilst it's in the game, I go here um, and then I can go through them like this. So it depends on which one you're talking about. Do you know about the Simplicity and CLYD scandal? I heard a little bit about it, about somebody stealing content or something like that, but I don't know the full story and 
Um, yeah, I don't. I, I heard about it just from the fact that I included some of their content in one of my videos. That's just um, when did it go up? I can't remember. I basically it was it was included in all my favorite CC, and I basically sh like told you guys what my favorite CC was, and a lot of you guys said that apparently <laughs> my favorite CC was stolen from somebody else, um, and they didn't credit or anything. So I was kind of a little annoyed by that, but yeah, apparently that was how it was going down. But I didn't I didn't hear too much about it. So I don't know the full story, basically, is what I mean. Um, I'm wondering what theme to go for in this room. I mean, like, we can always go for the blue theme. Oh, why was that pillar poking through? Apparently Sim Simplicity stole SLYD's creations from Second Life. What, and then didn't like credit them. Because don't get me wrong, Simplicity's stuff is absolutely incredible. Um, but you shouldn't, well, if they're incredible, are they actually, are they actually their own? But, <laughs> uh, the, I don't know, I like the stuff, you know, like I can't not, I can't not like the stuff. Does that make sense? Like as much as I... It's annoying that that stuff was stolen by somebody else. I can't get over how much I like that stuff. Like a lot of you guys were saying like, oh, why are you using this particular like hair if they were stolen? And I'm not advertising them, but I'm just saying those hairs are, are stunning. And I, I wish the creator who actually made them posted them instead because I would download them from them. But it's, yeah, it's really annoying, but I just can't live without that CC. So I'm not advocating that that creator is, is of good intentions just like their CC, whether it's stolen or not. <laughs> oh no, I'm really starting something here, haven't I? <laughs> For the Sanders sisters, is Kiara going to end up with Chris or someone else? I cannot, I, um, I cannot discuss that because that is a surprise. So yeah, I never discuss what will be happening in the future in, in, um, like episodes and stuff, but, um, yeah. I, I cannot discuss. That's it. I just, I, I cannot. Um, hmm. So she's gone for a blue theme. Fl theme? Full theme? See, that's nice. It includes the dark in here. I think we can incorporate some dark. And then... See, that's quite nice. And then I'm thinking of doing the wood on the back of here. Like she had in the other room. But this one should probably be in the lighter, right? Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, this nice. I like this. <laughs> That's disappointing. I love his hair. Still gonna use them though. <laughs> love, sorry. <laughs> uh, <ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I am annoyed about that I wasn't happy with is those hairs that was stolen by, like the hairs in particular that I heard were stolen. Um, basically those hairs were only available on their Patreon and I believe that doing stuff like that for The Sims is actually, um, it, does, it goes against the, the Sims terms of use because obviously like they're allowed to offer early access but they're not actually allowed to offer like it or, or put it behind a paywall so basically nobody that's paid for that CC can get it. Um, or sorry, nobody that hasn't paid for that CC can get it which I believe goes against the terms of use which in general went against the terms of it anyways right surely is that the way that's the way that it works right okay I, I like that that's cute but there was this little thing that come with island living that was that was cuter that can go on the bedside i think yeah it was one of these things there we go or, or even that that's that's quite nice actually i like that one there we go we'll do it in blue Yeah, I'm pretty sure the devs have discussed how it isn't allowed. Well, as much as I'm saying that it isn't allowed, I don't think they actually enforce anything. So whether they say that it's allowed or not, like, I don't think anything's actually getting enforced. So, like, whether it matters or not, um, I know that kind of sounds a bit harsh, but, like, if something's not being enforced, like, it's like, it's like saying that, like, robbing, robbing places isn't allowed. But if, if no, if no policeman arrest anybody or if there's no consequence of people actually doing it, then most people will still do it anyways. Does that make sense? It's like, if there's no consequence, 
people are still going to do it. So <laughs> it's no use going and saying, oh, this isn't allowed because there's no, is there actually a consequence of people doing it? Well, if there's not, people are still going to do it whether you say it's allowed or not. So. <laughs> Hold on, I saw so I saw somewhere there is a website called Patreon Police where, the, where they basically patrol. They patrol people's Patreon accounts. Oh my god, I didn't I didn't even know that. Maybe there is some sort of consequence to it. <laughs> oh, when I found out, I was like, wow, that's sad. I'm still gonna use that CC. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's actually what happened with mine. When everybody came and informed me, I was like, oh, that's sad. I don't want to advertise it, but probably not gonna stop using that CC because unfortunately it's still beautiful and it makes my Sims look bomb as fuck. So it's probably not gonna go anywhere, but still it's, it's wrong, but it's cute. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, as much as I wouldn't agree with it, um, it's, it's still nice. It's still nice, you see. Can you blame me? <laughs> Probably, but still. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's just sad. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's the way it is. There we go. Let's pop that in there. So this is her little... Actually, you know what? We don't need a light above it. Are you going to finish the Island Living series? No, I actually stopped doing the Island Living series just because it didn't get like a lot of like attraction. Um, more just the fact of like, I can sort of see when you guys are enjoying something and when you're not. And that series in particular, you guys just wasn't enjoying as much as the others. So this is kind of our way of replacing Island Living anyways, because we basically live on an island here anyway. So yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and hang up their little picture together. Oh my God. They're so cute. I love them. We need more pictures of them together. They're, they're actually adorable. Yes, Anto Sims hairs have been fire. It's, it's so true. They've been so good. I've been all over those like crazy. So if you guys aren't on that Anto Sims, uh, Anto Sims trend, then uh, like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what? What's even happening? Um, okay, so we could have like a two, a two long over here. Hello. Do they, do they have to sit all the way out there? Isn't it a bit annoying how they like hang off the floor like that? Do, do they sit in a normal position? Hello? Like that? But then the top of the window hangs out. Like what? I suppose if you're from that angle, you don't notice it. Mm. Mm. That's, that's fine, I suppose. Okay, they're all sitting up there. So you know what? We'll put ours up there as well. There you go. And then this one up there as well. Lovely. Look how pretty that is. Lovely. Oh my god, those stolen hairs. I think you have to pay for it. That's so ridiculous. We need to start a war. This is not right. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Those those hairs that, I've, like, that I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure you have to pay for those to be able to have them. Like, what is up with that? What is even up with that? Um... So these ones come in a blue. Or oh. I'm confused. How do you get this how do you get the the same colour that those are? Hey? Oh that's annoying. Do they not match? Oh no. Am I gonna have to swap this out? Maybe I'll have to swap it out like that. I don't like that as much though. I wanted them blue! That's not fair. That is not fair. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. It ain't it. It's the other curtain. Yeah, I don't think this curtain in particular matches, which really bothers me. The Patreon police had uploaded some of these stuff, but apparently he snitched and it got taken down. Oh, okay, so that's why they're not available anymore. No, but I'm pretty sure that that stuff, you needed to be a Patreon of hers to get. Like, it's like it, it was never going to be released to the public, even if you... Um, even if you... Um, even if you become a patron of hers afterwards, you was never going to get access to it. Or later, she was never going to release it to the public. Well, it was never released to the public. So I think that was kind of the issue behind it. Yeah, it was like a private collection, which like, is against the terms and conditions of it anyways, right? Like, you're not, you're not supposed to have private stuff. 
Like, it should always be available to everybody. Which is wrong. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, not Nevaeh's iconic hair. No, I don't think Nevaeh's iconic hair was uh, was of the private collection. One of the stolen hairs is Nevaeh's old hair. Is it actually? Wait, which hair? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Gonna get myself caught up in a scandal here. <laughs> Uh, that one's nice. Right, okay. So this is the side that is killing me. Like, what am I supposed to do about this side? Because there's not a single thing that matches it. Like, these do not match. What am I supposed to do over here? <sighs> that just looks wrong, though. It looks wrong. Yeah, it was because I asked him for it and he said he, he basically couldn't anymore because of the scandal, basically. Oh, wow. I just came in and received an ad. Yay. I oh, speaking of ads, we haven't even run an ad. We're an hour and 40 minutes into this stream and we haven't even run an advertisement. I'm the worst streamer in the world. Hold on. Let me, let me go. Oh, there's a repeat of my stream. Can you guys hear my stream? Wow, that's just really professional of me, isn't it? <laughs> it does not look good. No, it does not. Like, I hate having stuff that doesn't match. Okay, let me go ahead and run a quick advertisement, guys. There we go. Go ahead and let me know if you guys got an ad. Um, but we will be finishing the stream in a little while once I've finished this bedroom, okay? Once I finish this bedroom, we'll go ahead and finish the stream. Um, yeah, but I need to I need to finish this. I'm, I'm not settling for it otherwise. What am I supposed to do? Oh, wait, my video is playing. I don't want to see it twice. <laughs> there we go. No ad. I love how you guys get sad when you don't get an ad. It's so cute, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, those those are huge. Oh, if only those... Wait, hold on. Maybe I can use these instead. These long, long length ones. But to be honest, why would you want to cut out that amazing ocean view that you've got over there? Like, no one's ever going to want to cut that out, right? You can still kind of see through them, but still. I don't think anyone's going to want to ever cut that out. But even that looks, uh, to be honest, I might just do that because it's a little bit nicer. And then we can just see it through there. I might just leave that bit open. Or, 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 where's the ones that, um, where's the ones that go over the top? Maybe they'll have them in white. Ooh, maybe that could work. Ooh. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's much better. That's much, much better. There we go. I don't know what colour to do it in, though. Even that's nice, like with a little hint of blue. I don't know, that's nice. Those curtains look good. Okay, as long as as long as those ones look a little bit nicer. We'll go for like a white. The white also incorporates into the bed as well, so we can include a few white sections around here. Um, I just think it'll be nice to, to do that. I got an ad. Congratulations, guys. I love how you guys get so excited that you got advertisements. <laughs> oh, I find that. I'm always going to find that so funny how excited you guys get over, over having ads. Um, okay, so over here is probably where we're going to put the, um, the dresser. Um, so we're going to need enough room for both of the guys to fit all their stuff in. Um... What have we gone for? We've gone for a light wood, right? I really like this song, actually. That's quite nice. Does that match the room? It's a bit modern. I just started posting on YouTube and videos. Do you suggest... Uh, what do you suggest? Because I'm fresh out of ideas. Um, if you just started posting, it's quite good to not necessarily start off series straight away. Sometimes it's good to just do, um, do videos that you find fun and like funny, like survival house videos and stuff like that, like the Hunger Games. Um, just to do content that's like different to other people, those always 
um, those are ways to do a little bit better, you know, and just do stuff that you kind of enjoy um, and make videos, yeah, that basically you enjoy. It's kind of like the, the main thing that I tell anybody if they ask, you know, what should I be doing for YouTube? Um, just do stuff that you find fun, you know? If you find it fun, people are going to want to watch it. So that's normally the way that it works. <laughs> This stuff isn't matching. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I might actually have to use the Island Living stuff. Actually, they're not that bad. That one's actually quite... That, that, that one's actually quite cute, right? What's the one that comes in game? Probably that one, right? We'll use that one then. There we go. We'll put that over there. Oh, look how pretty she looks. We love that. And then we'll add... Um, we'll add a mirror. Oh, I've got a really itchy nose. <laughs> there we go. Got it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh my god. With ads, it's like you're the chosen one. <laughs> what the the only one that got chosen out of everybody else? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, people are gonna see you're not having fun and they won't watch. Yeah, it's always true. If if I'm not having as much fun in a video, you guys just automatically notice. Like you like I've had people tell me before, like like I, I feel like this video you didn't enjoy as much and stuff. And honestly, people notice like if you if you're not enjoying a video. So um, people want to watch you have fun in the game. So the biggest thing to do is do something you find fun. And I'm sure there will be an audience out there that will find whatever you are doing fun. So, yeah, that's my biggest, my biggest thing. It's quite a nice mirror, actually. But I don't really want to do, like, doubles like that. kind of want to do one that goes up in, up in the air. Not like that. Oh, the shell's quite nice. Maybe a little, sh maybe a little shell. Yes. But can we have it in blue? We can incorporate the blue in here. Yes, honey. I love that. Honestly, this is holy god building. Do you really believe that? Are you looking at this bit? Are you looking at the same room as me? Because, like, I'm not seeing the holy god building, personally. But, hey, oh, if you feel like that, you know, I respect that. Um, let me go and frame this canvas. There we go. And now I think I should be able to change the colour of the frame. Um, can you not change the colour of the frame? Well, I guess black's fine, but it looks nicer in a frame than it didn't. Are you using move objects? My furniture is so stubborn. Yes, and I also use the alt command. So if you press down alt on your keyboard, it allows you to change placement of things. So like right now, we are like on a grid. So if I turn the grid on like this, I'm placing it in different places on the grid. If you press alt, you can literally move anything anywhere. You can place it. Um, that's kind of how I get like all of my stuff, like not locked into place, like all of this stuff. Um, I can go and like move it like this and change different places of it if you press alt. Um, it's a really nice handy trick that you can use. Um, oh, this stuff's cute. I love all these like little decorations, but probably in her room it's not gonna look not gonna look the greatest. That's cute. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting distracted with decorations. Oh, this is all holiday stuff. We don't need this stuff. Okay, we're nearly finished with her bedroom. I think we should be done just soon. Um, let's go and add in. Let's add in. I love plants in this house. I think plants add to like the whole aesthetic of um, like it being nice and greeny and beachy and gr greeny. Okay, greeny. Hello, what's happening? Don't even ask. Um, I just, I think, I don't know. I think having like a bunch of plants everywhere, especially in a house like this, is is very pretty. So we'll we'll have a bunch of little plants everywhere. There we go. We'll have that in blue too. Incorporate some blue in there. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, that's like not what I was not not what I was thinking. Now. <laughs> I'm thinking of a really bushy plant to go on the left here. Super bushy plant, you know, the bushiest. Not that bushy. Okay, <laughs> maybe not the bushiest. Maybe just kind of bushy. You're such a good builder. I never think I'm a good builder. I was actually, I'm actually doing the the save file that I'm setting up because I want to get better at building. So it's crazy that you guys would say that and say that I'm a good builder because I think that I'm terrible at building. So it's quite nice that you guys think that I'm a good builder and I can, I don't know, try and get better with the, the, the save file. I'm really excited to try building houses for particular sims. I think that's going to be really fun. Like when we're going to be building houses for like certain sims that we've got in that, uh, um, in that, 
um, in that series that we're going to be doing. So that should be cool. There we go. We'll have another plant over there. Is that? See, that plant needs to be like less square. It needs to be like less, like less cylinder shaped and more like any direction. Yeah, that makes sense, right? <laughs> I'm so happy we hit 30k. Congratulations, Lauren. Thank you so much. I can't even believe we hit 30k either. It was crazy, honestly. There we go. See, I love, for some reason, in these themed houses, it's so nice to include a bunch of, um, to include a bunch of like, I don't know, bushes and stuff. It just, it suits the house really well. These are quite nice. Even having these outside, these are cute. Uh, we can have these somewhere. Mm, I'm not sure where we're gonna have those. Those could definitely fit somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Mm, oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, maybe maybe just leave those until I figure out a place where they could go. Lauren, do you think you'd be ready for merch? Because you're growing so fast and there's 20k subs left to hit the goal. I just don't want you working yourself too hard. Honestly, I will definitely struggle to get merch out by the time that it's, like, by that time. I'm not going to be releasing any merch if it's not completed. I've always said that to you guys. Um, as much as I would love to get it out on time by the time that we hit 50k, if merch isn't ready to come out by that point, I won't be releasing it. I'll wait um, until I've got it perfect. I don't want to release merch and, like, I don't know, have it, like, not be in, like, a finished product. I want to be able to test the product, test the place that will be doing the merch for me, make sure it's absolutely perfect. Do you guys get what I mean? I just don't want... I don't want merch to not be finished. Like, if you guys are going to buy something to represent my channel, it has to be perfect. So, yeah, that's kind of the way that I'm... That's kind of the way that I'm thinking about it. Uh, that's quite nice, actually. Ooh, yeah, I like that one. There we go. And then... Okay, now that we've got a lot of bushes in here, like, we've got a bush in every corner. Okay, maybe... Did I go a little bush overboard? Maybe. Maybe this corner doesn't need it. Maybe something else can go in this corner. <laughs> I don't know what can go in that corner, but I'll come back. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not gonna- I'm not gonna post merch until it's absolutely finished. I'm definitely gonna try to get it finished on the deadline, but you guys know I, I struggle to meet deadlines anyways, let's be honest here. Um, but I just wanna make sure that if I release something to you guys, it's finished. So if it's not finished, it won't come directly on the 50k dead mark, uh, deadline mark. But if it is finished, then absolutely it will. Um, but it's just a lot- it's a lot of hassle- like, not a lot of hassle, but it's a lot of work. I didn't realise how much work goes into people setting up these, um, like, merch stores and stuff. I've got to have somebody design a website for me. I've got to have somebody, like, make the merch. And then I've got to have the merch sent to me to make sure that it's, like, of the perfect quality. Because I'm obviously not releasing merch if I don't think that it's, like, a, of the quality that I want. There's just a bunch of stuff that goes into it. I didn't realise how much how much work goes into merch. So, yeah, I want to make sure it's perfect. It's fine, like, finding the right artist as well. To yeah. the work too. Mm -hmm. any additional work you need additional designs it's really difficult because it's like you might get an artist to make a design for you and then you might not like it so then you gotta go pay another artist to go make another design for you you know so it's like it and then obviously you've got to wait for that time for that artist to send you the stuff back you've also got to give them the ideas for the stuff so it's like it's not an, it's not an easy process here you know <laughs> it's not an easy process but i'm i'm getting there it's okay i'm i'm working on it in the background um and i just hope i hope 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 that it'll be it'll be ready by that time so i think we'll be good um but just trust that i will never give you guys shit um i will never provide you guys with 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 shit don't worry i will always come out with stuff that i think is like of a quality that i would buy so yeah that's the way i want to put it that makes sense <laughs> hope so <laughs> okay here we go uh, slide that on there. Let that go in the middle. Please, God help me, let that go in the middle. Okay. There we go. Right, this. There we go. No. No. Why is it the wrong way around? There we go. That's better. Oh, perfect. Love that. <laughs> Love that. You should make a video on your life of Lauren channel about you making merch and your ideas. I think it would all 
I think we would all like to see your uh, to see your journey making your merch. I would like to do that, but it would be difficult to record all of that because honestly, a lot of the stuff would be me going back and forward on emails. And to be honest, like it would literally just be me showing you guys the emails that go on back and forward between like me and different creators. So I don't know. I don't know how that would work. I could always look into it, but I just I don't know how it would work if that makes sense. There we go. Right. If we move this further back. And I'm thinking about giving her a um, a fan in the room. Yeah, it's uh, it'd just be difficult to kind of like show off if that makes sense. Um, there we go. We'll give it in the yellow like this. There we go. Um, we probably have one in the in this room as well. There we go. We'll have this one in the dark like that. Love that. Maybe one in the kitchen as well. We need fans everywhere. Yes, oh, we love this. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me swap to the other fan. There is another one, right? Where's the other fan? That one. There we go. Actually, I think these fans suit the house a bit better. Maybe I'll just swap them all out for these ones. Oh, that one's quite nice as well. Actually, I kind of like them being a bit different. No, actually, this one should be this one. Okay. <laughs> it's literally taking me forever to do this, but I need it perfect. That's nice. I like that one. Oh, this one's quite nice as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, that one's nice. We like that one. Right, perfect. So, I think her bedroom is pretty much done. I do really like it. I think it looks really cute. I'm probably one of the probably proudest over this room. I haven't decided on what I'm going to put in that corner just yet, but I'll probably think about it a little bit more and then we can do it in the next. Um, we can do it in the next one, but I think this is a really really cute room and i think it's nice and quaint and cozy for them to curl up in and hopefully make no more babies um <laughs> i just think the room looks really cute and yeah what do you guys what do you guys think of her bedroom now do you think do you think it looks okay fan don't go in the kitchen oh, we'll get rid of it then <laughs> lauren please decorate my room that room is stunning oh thanks <laughs> I'm probably not very good at decorating in real life. I've never decorated much, to be honest, but um, I'm kind of proud of this one in The Sims. It's cute, it's quaint, and I like it. I don't like this song, though. <laughs> I hope you have a good rest of your day, Lauren. I love you, and it's stunning. Oh, thank you. We do need to do the outside of this thing, but we'll do it. We can always do it later. This isn't, like, a priority, but I'm thinking we should probably get, like, a nice little place to sit, maybe even another easel so she can paint the outside. It would be nice to, like, paint this little view that she's got. She's got a really, really stunning view of the outside, so even painting out here would be really nice. I've also got a few more ideas for the decking. I took a picture of this house. I saw this house, and I saw the back of it, and I came up with a really, really good idea. Ignore the fact that, I've, okay, you guys can't see this, but I've got a picture of Tampax on my, on my thing. Um, yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> Hold on um where's the house i took a picture of the back of a house in sims and thought wow this the back of this house looks amazing the decking looks really nice and i want to take some ideas from it don't tell me i deleted it where is this no did i delete it i couldn't have right why would i have deleted it i wasn't finished with it really I think I might have accidentally deleted it. Oh no! It was so cute as well. I'll have to go back to the. I'll have to go back to the house and take a picture of it because it was really, really nice. Yeah, I'm going back like way further than that video was on that that picture was. Basically, it's like this little like beach house and it has a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different deckings. There's like a lower decking like we've got here and then there's two higher deckings on the left and the right. And I wanted to take some inspiration from it so that we stagger out the decking a little bit. So it's not just this one big, like long lower decking. I think it would be nice to have a higher decking up here somewhere, a higher decking up here. Maybe even have a hot tub inside the floor at some point i don't know we'll come up with some sort of idea and then somewhere can be for like a grill over here as well and i think it was just really nice to oh go to delete your photos that's a good point that's a good point hold on recently deleted oh yeah there's 20 in here as well mm. it's not in here yeah it's not in here i don't know where this picture's gone I really do not know. It might have been too long. I might have deleted it a while ago and that's why it's not in here. 
I definitely took a picture of a house in Sims of the back of it, but it's just not here anymore. Yeah, okay, I need to stop fussing over it anyways. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys get the idea. It's just like different staggered areas at the back. I'll go back into the house and take a picture of it. I did, I definitely took a picture of it. I... Wait, no, I took a, did I? Hold on, maybe I didn't take a picture of it on my phone. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I screenshotted it in game. I think I screenshotted it. Yes, that's where I saw it. Okay, that's why it's not on my phone. <laughs> oh, God. Where is that screenshot? The house was just so cute. I literally forgot about it that I put it in here. Oh, no. Okay, now I've got to find that. Oh, here it is. Okay, here's the back of it. Okay, so this this is it. Um, hold on, let me swap the screen over to this one. So from game capture to display capture. There we go. Right, so this is, wait, have we, oh, hold on. <laughs> what? I don't want to capture the game. Hello? Oh, like that, that's what I want, right? Display capture on, there we go. Right, so this, this is what I was talking about. Um, so basically, as you can see, this is like the backing section. So this whole backing section comes off of the house and then it drops down here and there's a, um, like all of this stuff is like a window. Like all of this stuff is see-through. You place like a block, a uh, thing on the bottom so you can see through it. Um, and then there's a nice little seating area with some little fairy lights. I think that's adorable just here. Um, so that's kind of like what I would like to do at some point. So make something that's connected to the house around here, somewhere to eat out here. And then also I want to add my own flair to it. So I don't want it to be exactly like that. So maybe even if I make like a section off of here, a little square to eat on, this section is to sit and I'll maybe put like a TV out here. Maybe even put one of those cinema TVs so we can watch TV outside and have like little family movie nights. And then down here was the hot tub. And I think all of that stuff's really cute. Um, but yeah, that was, the, that was the house I saw. So I thought that was really cute and I need to show you guys that one. So yeah, that one. That one was a really, really cute house. So yeah, we will go ahead and uh, close that and I'll put it back into intermission. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream off here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And um, thank you guys for everybody that stayed in here for the whole two hours. You guys are my my soulmates. You guys are all my, my best friends. And thank you for keeping me busy on this Saturday. And hopefully I gave you some entertainment for two hours of this Saturday. Um, but yes, I'm going to go and work on some videos um, tonight and work on some more videos for tomorrow. Um, so be expecting content on this channel and also my other channel as well. And yeah, my gaming channel. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the new videos on there. And I think, yeah, I'm going to leave it off here. So I love you all and I will speak to you all in the next stream or in the next video. Bye everyone. Thank you.